1975, Time's Man of the Year is 12 women. But this cover, while rated by some feminist leaders like Gloria Steinem as a net plus for women, is being criticized by others who say Time's implication is that 12 women are equal to one man. The point is that we go forward. We're nowhere near where we need to be. This morning, Houston turned upside down for more than 33,000 women and men of widely diverging views who came to participate or to protest the National Women's Conference, a presidentially appointed commission with a congressional mandate to examine women's rights. A torch held high for feminists who have come to Houston. It is supposed to be a symbol of progress toward equality and of the unity they hope to create here. Three First Ladies of the United States, Betty Ford, Lady Bird Johnson, and Rosalind Carter, stood on stage in agreement with that purpose. I would say of all the big events I've experienced, it was the most underestimated. It was so important. Forces opposing the women's movement hope wrangling over such controversial proposals as lesbian rights will seriously wound the movement, while leaders of the conference are convinced they can win new friends for the movement. The lesbian issue was serious. I mean, lesbianism was not really agreed upon or a discrimination against lesbian as a feminist issue until 1977. But all those in favor of the sexual preference resolution, please rise. Then everybody did vote and say, okay, this is a feminist issue. Be seated. Please stay in order. I was crying, we all please crying. I think of it as just so moving. The delegates adopted an agenda that was pro-ERA, but also pro-abortion and pro-lesbian rights. After years of internal squabbling over where the women's movement should be going, the leaders say passage of the Equal Rights Amendment is the single most important piece of unfinished business. That until the Constitution says women are equal to men, the women's movement cannot move forward. If they want us to become the radicals that they fear we are, just let them stop the ERA and we will become those radicals. are the women that our parents warned us about and we are proud.